Okay, in this one, it says in the diagram below, right angle, sorry, right angle ACB. So where's that? ACB. So telling us that's, that's a right angle. It's 90 degrees. Right angle ACB is intersected by DE. What are the measures of DCB? Let's find that one. I always take a moment to find these angles. D, C, B. So this, this angle right here in blue. What are the measures, measures of DCB and A, C, E? So let's find that. A, C, E. That's this orange angle right here. Okay, so what can we do? Well, DCB, right? They, they label this angle right here. That's A, C, D that's this angle, as 37 degrees. So we know that's 37 degrees. And they told us right from the start that this whole angle right here is 90. So if I want to know this, this blue angle right here, or, or I'll draw it up here, it doesn't really matter. If I want to know that blue piece, I can take 90 degrees and subtract 37. Because 90 degrees represents this, this whole distance right here, right? And if I take this green part away from the whole distance, the blue is what's left over. So that equals, well, 90 minus 30 is 60 minus 7 is 53 degrees. So I would say that DC, DCB, that's right here, I lost track, DCB is 53 degrees. So what about ACE? Well, let me just highlight that again. ACE right here. Right? You can see that there's a straight line right here. So what does that mean? Well, that angle, that whole that whole angle actually, let me sorry about that. ACE, I'm sorry, it's not that whole distance. It's just from here to here. That's ACE. The straight angle, the 180 degree angle, sits on this line. So that's this whole distance right here. So the orange is right here. It's a little hard to see, and the purple angle, 180 degrees, is right there. So if I know that that whole purple distance is 180 degrees, I could subtract this little, let me get a different color, this little piece right here, this green angle, 37 degrees, which they gave us from the start. So 180 minus 37 is going to equal what's, well, this part C over here, right? We're taking the whole angle, subtracting that little green part. And that equals, well, 180 minus 30 is 150, minus another 7 is 143. So I would say that ACE is 143 degrees. What do they tell us here? Well, they say the angles shown below are supplementary. Again, that means they add up to 180 degrees. So the measure of PQR is 2x. So where is PQR here? PQR. This angle is 2x. What expression represents the measure of STU? Well, I know if I add STU and, and PQR, I get 100, no, yes, 180 degrees because they're supplementary. So what do we have here? Well, I would choose, um, I, I wouldn't choose A or B because 90 deals with complementary angles. Here, 180 minus 2x seems the most friendly to me because I know if I had a 180 degree angle and I wanted to find out this missing piece, let's say, you know, I, I connected these two and I could picture it almost as one big 180 degree angle. Well, if I want to, if I know the, the whole thing here is 180 degrees and I know that this chunk is 2x, if I took 2x from 180, I would have what's left over. So here, 180 degrees minus 2x minus this angle has to give us this piece right here has to give us the missing the mystery angle. So because I know that if I take y, that's I'll say this is angle y, and add it to 2x, I know I get 180. So in this video right here, we know that we have two angles, A and B, and they sit on this straight line right here. So if I add them up, I get 180 degrees. So x plus 2, that's angle A, plus angle B, which is 2x plus 4. If I add them up, I get 180. So x and 2x is 3x. 2 and 4 is 6. So that has to give us 180. And then just solve for x. Take, take 6 from both sides. 
and I get 3x equals 174. So then I take 174 and divide it by 3, and that's the, that's the value of x. So what is that? I'm not actually sure, but I know that 3 times 60 is 180. So 174 is pretty close to 180. It's 6 less than it. So that's two groups of 3 less. So 3 times 58 gives us 174, and x is 58 degrees. But here they want to know what's the measure of angle A. Well, A is x plus 2. So 58 plus 2, and that's 60 degrees, or choice G. Here, again, straight line. We know this is 125 degrees, so x and 125 are supplementary. So x plus 125 needs to give me 180, so I would say x is 55 degrees. And that's it. All right, hope that helped.